Beth Starks, the founder and executive director of the Chautauqua Lake Child Care Center, joins us live now with more on how the COVID-19 outbreak is affecting child care here locally. Beth, thanks so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. Now, in addition to the center you run here in Chautauqua County, you're also on the county committee that's dedicated to helping those find child care here locally. First off, I want to ask, how has COVID-19 affected local child care? Um, it has affected local child care in a number of ways, both for the families and for the providers. Um, first of all, uh, child care wanted to remain open and available for families who needed to continue working and um, also make sure that we are keeping all of the children and staff safe and meeting the needs of the community. Now, finding a place for children to go, especially for those essential workers, I'd imagine is pretty critical. How does your organization work with uh, different entities in the area to try to streamline that process? So my child care center has worked along with the other providers, um, both child care centers and in-home providers in the community. Uh, we've created a team uh, led by the Chautauqua County Child Care Council, working with school districts and the county, as well as the rest of the community to make sure that we are all collaborating to meet the needs of families who are essential workers during this time. Now, if someone was having trouble finding affordable child care, what type of resources do you have out there to try to help parents? Because I'm sure, especially, say, a nurse, right, who's one of the, those critical workers who really needs to uh, focus on uh, their job right now. I, I'd imagine for them it's, it's probably pretty busy. Definitely. And so what we've done is developed a short uh, survey online. We put that out to businesses and um, to families through the, uh, through the school districts. And they can complete the short survey and um, indicate whether their need is immediate or if they anticipate a future need and they will receive a call back from the Child Care Council. Um, they also can call the Child Care Council's 1-800 number, 1-800-424-4532, and receive assistance from a professional there in both finding child care and assistance in um, paying for child care. Now, what type of safety measure, measures have child care centers like yours taken to keep not only the workers, but also the children safe uh, during this time? So we have our standard uh, sanitizing and cleaning procedures as well as hand washing. And then we have made some changes um, based on recommendations and speaking with um, both the state office and children and uh, office of children and family services that licenses us as well as our county health department and the state health department, um, making sure that we're as safe as possible. So we have a few new procedures. So we've changed our exclusionary policy um, to um, to be a little bit more rigid. And that means that um, that we're making sure that everyone that, that is at the center is healthy, both staff and uh, children. And we are checking temperatures um, as, as staff and children enter for the day, as well as uh, midway through the day. Now, what type of uh, age groups do does your center see here in Chautauqua County? So we're licensed for children six weeks all the way through 12 years. Okay. So do you have different type of activities for them? Because I know now with school being out, if someone, say, Monday through Friday wanted to, uh, was an essential worker, maybe a nurse somewhere, uh, who, who needed their, their child to have this care, will you be able to help them with this remote schooling that they're having? What's that process like? Absolutely. So all of our all of our classrooms from the infant room through school age, all of the lead teachers have um, their their bachelors. Um, most of them have their masters in early childhood. They are they are teachers, and so they're able to assist with that schoolwork um, as the families uh, desire, so that we can take some of that burden off of the families as well. Wow, I, I imagine that's probably a really big thing that people look forward to when uh, looking for child care and having that type of resource is that, you know, it's not just a babysitter. Uh, we're trying to work with your, with your child on skills. So even during this, this kind of time where the schedules are bumped off, they, they can still have that, uh, that education. Absolutely. And we do so much with the children. Um, they are learning 
learning through hands-on activities all the time in every one of the classrooms. And we are uh, making sure that we're meeting their needs in every one of their developmental areas. So making sure that we um, go outside and play and, um, and meet meet their motor needs, as well as their social emotional needs, which are so critical during this time period. And they're all continuing to learn through through play and through active learning. And let's talk about that a little bit more um, as we're looking at some of the pictures that, that you've sent us today of, of kids uh, kind of uh, playing in the creek and playing outside a little bit. I imagine during this time, it's really important, uh, especially for families, to, to stay together and, and keep things positive. And that play, trying to keep that as normal as possible, probably is a big thing to trying to keep morale up and, and, and keep people in, in, in a positive direction. It is, and so we're modifying. So the pictures that I sent you are are not from last week or this week. We, we are modifying activities to make sure that we are engaging in social distancing. Uh, and it's also important that we keep children active and um, and busy. And uh, so we lease space from the Chautauqua Lake School, and they've been amazing in cleaning and sanitizing um, our indoor spaces, but as well our outdoor our outdoor spaces that we use. And so we're making sure that we're as safe as possible and also meeting the needs of the children. What type of uh, tips would you give to parents to try to keep their uh, families uh, functioning well during this time? Because without with, with not being in school um, and the routines are so disrupted, I imagine it, it's stressful on the adults and that probably translates to, to the kiddos too. Absolutely. And I do know that a lot of families are struggling right now with trying to keep up with academics and feel some of that pressure. And I would tell all of the families that, that children learn uh, through any activities that they're doing. So as important as it is to try to keep up with their academics, sitting and reading a book with a child, going for a walk, cooking with them, all of those activities have so much learning in them. And so it's important to families to, to play a game, to spend time with one another another and to um, try to take that pressure off themselves and the children as well. All right. Well, Beth, thank you so much for being here. Beth Starks, the founder and executive director of the Chautauqua Lake Child Care Center. We really appreciate it.